Hello everyone. I'm back with another pin video. This is my second uh, pin video on my art channel. My first video was a unboxing of a cross 175th anniversary pen and pencil set and a fountain pen. Um, prior to that, I hadn't really collected any fountain pens. I think in that video, I had like maybe three or four and those were my first. And um, this week I was off work with a wisdom tooth issue and I spent most of the week either sleeping or shopping for pens. I can't count the number of pens. Well, I can count. I haven't counted the number of pens that I received in the mail today alone. Um, most of them were fairly inexpensive. Um, but yeah, I was busy shopping for pens. Um, the fountain bug, the fountain pen bug has uh, hit me pretty hard. But anyway, not to belabor that point, you probably, you guys probably already you understand. You're actually you know, watching a pen video, so you probably have to share the same passion. But the um, first pen here is a bilunar. Uh, they call it the luxury fountain pen. They don't have a model. And this is from Amazon. Um, made in China, $13.99. And the second uh, you guys may be familiar with is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age, $625, which was kind of a sale on eBay. I'm not going to compare them, but I was just curious. I'm always curious to see how more inexpensive, I won't call them cheap, more inexpensive pens compared to really expensive pens. It's really interesting to me to, to compare. Um, I'll start with the Bilunar. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Just to show you what comes in a box. When I first saw this pen, I didn't see any reviews um, on YouTube. But, um, but I just took a chance. So this is the out of box, and this is the, it's a leather-like, not pleather, I guess, with white stitching. You can see the bilunar and the fountain pen embossed on it. And it just comes with, um, what is this? I guess a thank you. And if you, you have any issues, this is where to contact support. Instructions for the converter. And the cartridge. I right, was wrapped in this. And some silica. Toss that to the side. Came with six cartridges, all black. And this is the converter. And they say it's a Schmidt converter. Um, I'm still, I'm better at shopping than knowing all the ins and outs of uh, fountain pens. But hopefully that'll change soon. I'll be more educated about the different converters and different parts. That's the Biluna. This is a really nice case. Um, it's kind of um, suede -ish. I know it's not suede, but that's kind of what it feels like. Really nice case um, for, you know, $13.99. The case alone is so worth it. Very nice. Um, yeah, solid. If you like cases, this is a pretty nice one. But that's that one. And this is the pen. In the um, photo on, on Amazon, this part of the, the brush part, it's a little browner. So it's uh, to me, it's a little bit more attractive um, on the, the photo on Amazon. But actually, in person, it's more silver. And I have a, a red one on the way, too. So, um, so this is a... 24 karat gold plated iridium medium nib. You see it has some kind of script there. I can't I can't read it. My eyes are fading. And that's what it so you twist it off and this just one of, this is one of the six cartridges that came with it. So it looks pretty nice. We'll see how it holds up. Again, this is a medium nib. 
and I'll, um, I'll show you it posts stays tight and I'll show a writing sample in a bit but um, the clip is very stiff but as far as the weight it has a little bit of weight to it but not bad at all not in my opinion I like a little weight to my pins um, it's heavier than the cross pin for sure um, the cross fountain pen that I showed in my last video but that's a Bilunar Luxury Fountain Pen. And most of you probably know this one, are familiar with this one, the Visconti. Um, I, this is probably 3 a.m. I am high on Advil PM, you know, suffering with a wisdom tooth. And yeah, I decided to uh, get this. And I knew it was going to be nice, but I had no idea how nice it would be. It's a little different. The colors of these two bands are a little bit, this is a little lighter than this one. But um, it's a beautiful, beautiful pen. I know a lot of people are complaining about the fact that you can't see how much ink in it. And yeah, you can't see. Um, they have the newer models that have the window, but... Um, they're about $300 more than this one. So I felt bad enough getting this one, spending so much on this one that I was like, well, I'm, I, won't, I won't bother with the window. I'll just take a chance. But there's a nib. This nib is 18 karat gold. It's a medium nib. See that? And, uh, you know, I thought it was going to be rougher feeling because in the pictures, it looks very pitted. Um, mine doesn't seem as pitted. It's more rubbery and it just, it feels so good in the hand. It's so smooth. Um, just want to just rub it and hold it, fondle it, fondle it. But it's a beautiful pen. There's the, the V and there's the clip that's based on the bridge and you just squeeze it here but um I'm sure you've all seen in the other reviews so I won't really belabor it other than it's uh, absolutely gorgeous one thing um, I don't really have any complaints uh, even I won't even complain about not being able to see how much ink in it uh, is in it um, and this is not what I'm about to bring up is not really a complaint either. It's just um, fascinating. For some reason, I sniffed it. And uh, yeah, it smells pretty bad. Um, so I'm sure my fingers, well, I have perfume lotion on now. So maybe that'll rub in here and make it smell a little better. But uh, yeah, it was a little, I guess, volcanic ash. Um, probably smells like that or something like that. Volcanic ash and resin. But uh, yeah, the smell was a little off-putting, but man, it's so smooth. I can't believe how good this feels. But anyway, I'm going to um, not compare, but I'm just going to show you how both of these pins write. And um, one thing unique I wanted to kind of bring to my, my channel is that I write with both of my hands. So I wanted to give you guys kind of a feel for how these pins write both. Um, left-handed and right-handed as well as maybe if you're going to do some art um, how that comes across with the pen as well so I'm gonna take a seat and just write a little bit I'm gonna start with my left hand so this is the Visconti the Homo sapiens age um, medium nib I know some people were compa complaining that uh, they're skipped but I haven't had any issues uh, the ink is Monteverdi uh, 
um, sapphire. It's from their gems collection. And this is 625 um, eBay. So that's how it writes uh, on your, on your, with your left hand, if you're left-handed. Um, I don't think it's going to be much different with the right. Sconti. I think I'm putting a little bit more pressure down with my right hand. Um, so it may be coming across a little, a little darker, I'm not sure. Monte Verde. So that's how it writes with um, the right hand. And this is reverse. Uh, Monte Verde Sapphire, the color Sapphire, which is kind of a bluish purple. And it, you see it writes um, pretty good in reverse. Uh, let me see with my left hand. Yeah, writes very good in reverse. I write with this like this, which I don't do very well. It still writes. So very nice, very smooth. Yep. Yep. Famous squiggly lines. I don't know if I can do the squiggly lines with my left, kinda. But yep, that's the uh Visconti. So the interesting thing is the the bilunar. Again, this is made in China. Thirteen ninety nine. Um, start with my left hand. I've always written with both of my hands. Uh, my mom, when I was younger, would try to make me um, pick one, but I refused. And I've always been, I've always spent a lot of time since I could remember writing, just doodling and noodling. Um, I've always loved pens. I put luxury fountain pen in quotes. This is also a medium nib. 24 karat gold plated. Iridium. And the ink is the, the cartridge, the included cartridge. I didn't even use the, um, the converter. So you can see that this is very smooth for, um, you know, $13.99, $13.99. So I'm very impressed with this. I also have, um, I think I mentioned in my last video, I have a few Hongdeons. I think I bought every Hongdeon I could find. Um, I love those. those pens, as well as a Scriv Scrivener. Um, they're also from Amazon and they write very nicely as well. But this one is uh, probably one of the smoothest inexpensive pens. Um, so I won't continue but you can see how just smooth like no skipping um, let's see um, this is the reverse 24 karat gold plated so it writes nicely in reverse um, yeah no scratching maybe a little when you go from left to right but um, Yeah. 
so yeah, that's the Bilunar. I'm very impressed with them. The more inexpensive pens that uh, you can find. But uh, yeah, 625, 1399. Um, uh, these are about, well, I guess they feel like they're about the same weight. But um, yeah, the, the way this feels, I just I can't I can't describe it. It's just I don't know six twenty five though. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, beautiful. But thank you for watching and indulging in my um, my habit with me. I I don't know how many pens I got today, but I probably have enough for a month's worth of videos probably so um, I'll be back um, hopefully I'll get a little better at this and learn more about fountain pens and um, yeah in this case it's half filled almost half filled already so um, yeah thank you for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video hope it was helpful take care